Hello again, we'll continue on conspiracy now as I uh, mentioned earlier the Akubuan is the Akubuan, it's the basic in conspiracy, the principles of conspiracy now <clears throat> we are <clears throat> as, as I've also discussed a conspirator is liable only for such other crimes which, which could be foreseen and which are natural and logical consequence of conspiracy. I have given example of that before in this case, this case of robbery in People versus Navasca. In People versus Navasca. Uh, a member of the band in robbery in quadrilla on the other hand is liable for all assaults inclusive of rape and homicide while he was present when these crimes were committed but did not attempt to prevent the same now there is a band or quadrilla in this case the conspiracy is presumed to to mean that they have an agreement to commit a uh, crime of robbery. Now, in this case, one or two of the members of the group committed rape. Now, in in this case, people this was the Vasca, the Supreme Court rule that each of one of the members will be liable for robbery and rape regardless of these additional offenses or foreseeable or logical consequences of robbery now why is that uh, so the Supreme Court reason out that uh, robbery in quadrilla or more than four persons is an exception to the rule on conspiracy thus conspirator is liable for either robbery with homicide or robbery with rape provided that if he was not in position to prevent the additional assault on victims, he will be not he will not be liable therefore. And only the killer was liable for homicide. Now if the the part of the group is was in position to stop or to prevent homicide or rape then he will not be liable for other acts uh, committed by the other member of the groups or other members of the group this is different from conspiracy quadrilla and conspiracy but if both conspiracy to rob and quadrilla are present the following rules may apply if homicide was committed the lookout is liable therefore under conspiracy jury if a rape was committed and the lookout was present but did not try to prevent it he will be liable for under the quadrilla rule and if the lookout was not present when the homicide and the rape were committed he will not be liable for rape but he will still be liable for the homicide under the conspiracy jury now uh, he will not be liable for rape if he is uh, it was just a lookout and and he had no opportunity to prevent the commission of rape now 
uh, this is different in homicide because robbery to force upon things or uh, treat or indignation the natural or logical consequences of such a crime is bodily harm of course bodily harm or injury to the person of the victim so that's why the lookout is liable for homicide committed by a member of the or members of the group while he was just a mere lookout we will not discuss the grave lace grave light felonies you can just read that in the uh, provisions of article 9 article 10 we will not also discuss that we will go straight to justifying circumstances and circumstances which exempt from criminal liability next time